Hello, this is Lee Natero. I'll be showing you how to do a two-sample t-test to compare two population means. I'll be using the TI-8384, and the example we'll be looking at comes from Chapter 10, Section 2 of the Practice of Statistics. To begin, hit Stat and hit Enter on Edit. You'll notice I've entered the data for Group 1, the calcium group, in List 1, and Group 2, the placebo group, in List 2. Positive values indicate a decrease in systolic blood pressure, and negative values indicate an increase. So we want to see more positive values or a higher mean in list 1 than in list 2 if calcium does help to lower blood pressure. Next, hit STAT, go over to tests, choose option 4, two sample t-test. Although we could have figured out those summary statistics for ourselves, I've entered the data in my calculator, so let's choose the data option. My data is stored in list 1 and list 2, and the frequencies are each occurring once, so I don't have to enter a separate frequency list. We want to see if calcium helps to reduce blood pressure, so we need a higher mean for a calcium treatment than for a placebo treatment. So we're going to choose the greater than option here, mu1 greater than mu2. Pooled will say no, and we'll come down here to calculate. Notice our test statistic value is 1.6. We have our p-value, degrees of freedom, sample means, sample standard deviations, and sample sizes. With a p-value of 0.06, there's some evidence, but not strong evidence, against the null hypothesis. If our alpha level was 0.05, we would fail to reject the null hypothesis. If the alpha level was 0.10, we would, we would reject the null hypothesis. So there's some evidence, but it's not very strong evidence, that calcium um, helps to reduce blood pressure. Another option we could have done would be to choose draw. Let me show you what I mean by that. Two sample t-test. At the very bottom, instead of calculate, we could have chosen to draw the t-distribution associated with this example. So this is the t-distribution with the degrees of freedom that was calculated. And we can see the test statistic and p-value occurring at the bottom. And we see the shading of the, the right tail here since we chose a one-tail test.